have heard me talk about how I got into politics and how I started to run first. I was in the first class, lucky enough, to go to Williams College and graduate after four years. Women hadn't been admitted to matriculate before that time. That was a real door opener for me. I'm an eye opener. I had a chance to go to law school. You know, my mom didn't get a, get a chance to go to college. All right, so this is where I might need my Phoenix. <laughs> really. I uh, want to say this to all the young women who have worked on this campaign, who have thought about running for office, who have tried and maybe not won. It's important that you do it. She's right at my left shoulder. <laughs> and we want everybody at the table. It means breaking down the stereotypes we have about who can do what job and who is good at what. It's why we challenged the Defense of Marriage Act, so that people could marry who they love, something I'm particularly proud of. And yes. with more <laughs> So for every woman who didn't get the job she wanted or didn't get the promotion or who ran a race and lost, I say go right back at it. Yeah. <laughs> There is still a lot of work to be done here in Massachusetts. And I know that you will be as committed for the next race. The next race is only you know, a couple of years away, <laughs> given our special elections. Is probably less than that. <laughs> I am so proud to be a Democrat in Massachusetts, in a state that cares about its people. We are not only Boston strong and Massachusetts strong, we are Massachusetts resilient. And I thank you for being here today. And I thank you for helping me with this race. But most importantly, I am challenging you to never give up. Let's keep working.